Greetings once again, everybody. Welcome aboard. My name is Joseph James. It's November 3rd, 2010. Well, we made it through the election. Super Tuesday is now behind us. And, of course, what a better way to get back in the swing of things this morning with one of the biggest trading days of the year so far. Guys, over 200 ticks today, guys. Great day in the room. A Wednesday, so we had a members training today as well, guys. We had all kinds of action from the very beginning of the trade room this morning, whether it be our morning prep at 8 o'clock, we then went right into news, right? 8.30 news, 9 o'clock news. We had 10.30 crude inventories this morning. We took a huge trade on the gold, right? Also saw the same trade in the crude, but we took the gold. And then we did a great members training afterwards. We talked about the fast track method, about trade management, guys. I'll tell you, if, if this is what trading is like every day, guys, I'll take it every single day because obviously great Wednesday, right? We made it through the election. We're now looking at this is the this is the home stretch, right? We got to the end of the year now. We got the election out of our way. We got Fed Day today, right? Fed Day out of our way. So, guys, it's just it's just smooth sailing now into the end of the year. All right. Now, before we talk about the trades we took today, I want to remind you guys on Friday, right? On Friday, not tomorrow, Thursday, but on Friday we have that special beginners training. All right. Make sure you guys check out the beginners training on Friday morning. I don't care who you are, bring your friends, bring your family, right? Bring your next door neighbor's brother in law, and make sure you bring your questions to training on Wednesday, on Friday, right, at eleven AM for the beginners training. All right. Then while you're on the blog right now, don't forget, right above me here, right, trade room resources, the beginners corner, and webinars, right? There are three important links right above me here, guys. We recorded last Friday's beginners training and we posted it in that link up top under the beginners corner. All right, guys? Get used to the blog. Use the blog, guys. Lots of great resources on the blog. So get to know it. All right, two, four, six, eight total trades. We got a loss in there on crude today. Wasn't a full stop loss, but it sure as heck came close, right? Four times four is 16, so we lost 16 ticks in the crude today. A uh, little bit on the gold, a little bit on the Russell, a little bit on the crude. The big thing, though, today was that huge monster trade at the end of the day today on gold. At 11 o'clock today, a plus 5, plus 11, and plus 113. <laughs> I know, I know. That's right. Yeah, you're not reading that wrong. That's a 113 tick runner. And we'll talk more about that here in a moment. You'll see it wasn't really that difficult of a trade at all. It was actually pretty easy. That brings our weekly total here, guys, to 5000 bucks. We've made $5,000 on a $4,000 account in one week, right? Not too bad. I'll take that every day of the week. Only three days so far, too. We're not even done this week. It's only Wednesday. So 229 ticks, 2290 for the day. That includes that loss on crew, guys. We all take losses every once in a while. We took two losses yesterday, right? Still made a really good day yesterday, right? But obviously, that big winner on gold, though, really helped us out today. So monthly total, weekly total, both 5000 bucks. It's the first week of the month. And 190000 now for the year, guys. We are coming up on that 200000 mark, right? Our goal there from the beginning of the year was two hundred grand. Let's see here. What's the most important thing that happened today? Well, again, today was Fed Day. Right, FOMC Day, the Federal Open Market Committee, when they release their announcement, usually based upon monetary policy, usually has to do with the interest rates, right? The Fed funds rate. Now, how do we trade FOMC Day? We talked about this a lot today in the room, but the key to FOMC is in the morning session, you want to get in early and get out early. All right, right around 11 o'clock, you're going to start seeing people start hit the exits. Now, it happened a little bit later this morning. We were actually going to trade 11 o'clock this morning, but usually you're going to see things end up a little bit earlier on FOMC day. People will then wait to the announcement at 2.15, and then you'll see that very volatile movement at 2.15. Now, we actually looked at that today in training. Hope you members out there had a good time in training today. Had a great training today for our members today. And we actually looked at and traded FOMC at 2.15 uh, together with our members today. All right, guys, if you're a guest right now and you want to be a part of the next members training, contact our sales team. They'll give you guys some flexible payment options, right? Lots of flexibility right now going into the end of the year to get signed up as a member. Okay, now, we also saw the dollar continue to chop around. The dollar continued to chop around, so we didn't have much, much confidence being built in the dollar. We also had the crude up at those highs, and crude was bouncing around 85 to 84, right? I sold the highs 85, bought the lows 84, made some money that way. Okay, gold was kind of a sleeper here this morning until late in the morning, 11 o'clock. We took that $1,300 winner, right? Over 130 ticks on that winner on gold, 11 o'clock. And this is another great example today, guys, of just how important it is to continue to focus on taking your trades with a methodical approach, right? Now, when you look at our results today, 
right? Look at my results today. You can see the first couple trades we took today, right? Little little scratch trades, right? Ten ticks, twenty ticks, ten ticks, twenty ticks, right? Didn't get any of those big ba boom, right? None of those big winning trades. But guys, as you know, right? I'm a baseball player. Right? I'm trying to hit good pitches. I want to swing at strikes. I'm trying to hit base hits. Because I know if I swing at strikes, if I swing and get base hits, one of those base hits will be a home run. All right, guys? All right? If I know, if I keep swinging at good pitches, if I keep giving it my best try, eventually one of those swings will connect to the pitch that will take this thing out of the park. And that's exactly what happened today. Okay, so great example if just if you keep following those rules, keep trading according to your plan, and again, I'm going to give you that plan as an advanced member, you will come out on top every single day. All right, guys, so here we are. Here's my dollar. As you guys know, we always start my day on the dollar, and the dollar is usually going to give me a pretty good heads up here. Now, what do we see here? Well, this, of course, is the range today. Compare that to the range we saw yesterday, and what do we see here? We, of course, have an outside day that turned into an inside day. Okay, now remember, well, back over here, this was where, right, this 880, this was where we were supposed to have that head and shoulders pattern trigger. Okay, but as you can see, though, we are still chopping around sideways here while this head and shoulders pattern triggers. What happened was, is we had the head and shoulders pattern, right? There's your neck, your shoulders, your head. Okay, so what happened was here, we then were waiting now for price to break below, right, that level right there. But as you can see, it's been just getting chopped up here though, right, at those lows. So the dollar keeps going sideways. We had relatively low average to range. We had relatively quiet speed. And of course, knowing this morning that we were with FOMC day today, right, we weren't really expecting much out of the dollar. Well, what ended up happening was the dollar ended up breaking these highs and rising. Of course, that all went right out the window when FOMC day, right when the announcement came out to 15, the dollar went crazy. All right, but what happened this morning though, which affected our trading, was that the dollar broke the highs, and when the dollar rises, can you guess what we're doing? We're looking for shorts. All right, guys. So the dollar gave us a little bit of a heads up this morning that we had to be patient, and it was exactly right too. Our first couple trades of the day really weren't that great. As the day progressed, though, that's when we started getting some bigger moves in the market. Now, here's my crude. Now, see, crude here was a little bit of a challenge because we had crude that had finally broken above, right? There's my, there's my channel high, right? So crude had broken above that. And so, of course, when we break above the channel or the wedge, I'm always looking to sell the highs. So, of course, what I did was I sold 85. Price came back down off 85, and I bought 84, right? Pretty simple, right? Sold 85s and then bought, right? Once we came back down, bought the lows at 84. So we pretty much stayed right inside of this little area here from 85 down to 84 here on the crude. All right, guys? So wedge pattern, we broke the highs of the wedge. I want to be a seller at the highs. And then I had that 34, 84, 34 as support, right? We used that for a wave pattern to buy those lows and bring it right back up. All right, here's the crude. First trade on crude this morning. As you can see, after 9 o'clock, right, didn't get anything in the pre-mark today. We, of course, had that sideways chop, right? We knew where that was. That was the highs. We test the highs, and now I'm looking for an opportunity to sell these highs. 